YouTube. I just got back from San Francisco a day and a half ago. Was it yesterday? No, a day and a half ago. And immediately went to the theater to do a show. And then the next day slept in all day and then did another show. So I'm working at Two Con and I'm in two shows. So I'm in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Hunchback of Notre Dame where I play Esmeralda. I'm so happy and so grateful. And then in Charlie, I play ensemble, but special appearance as an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> so anyways, when I came back from San Francisco, I went to go do Charlie. The next Next day was Hunchback, which is why I slept in and just did absolutely nothing. But today is a Tarzan day and I'm not in Tarzan and so I figured I'm going to attack this room of mine. It's going to be a reset day. I just wanted to share some things that I like to do after traveling that help me reset for a new fresh week. So it technically is the end of the week because it's Friday, but with traveling and then starting back into shows, it feels like the start of the week. So how cute. You get to see a little a drawing from a little girl, flowers, and then my tambourine. Can you tell I'm in Hunchback and Notre Dame? But I'm going to take you on with me. It's going to be a laundry day, clean the bathroom, unpack, and these are just some things that I like to do to reset after traveling. So I figured I would share to help any of you reset and get back in the groove after traveling. So here we go. One of the first things I try to do after I get home from a trip is to immediately go to my luggage, bags, and anything I traveled with and unpack all of the things but not gonna lie i usually wait one night so i can get home and just rest because my body is typically wiped after a travel day but when i'm in the zone and getting ready to reset this is the first thing i want to do i always take the dirty clothes out and put it in my laundry bag because when i'm having a reset day or reset days i want to do laundry so this is the first thing that i do and this is my number one tip Tip number two falls in line with tip number one, but it has its own sets of challenges and focus for me. I try to take out all of my toiletries from my toiletry bag because by the end of a trip, everything is typically scattered, disorganized, and very chaotic. So I divide up my makeup brushes and my makeup for my shower and my skincare items. And then as you can see here, I go to the bathroom and put all things in their normal spot so I can feel like I'm getting back into my routine. And if I'm feeling extra energized, I'll even wash my makeup brushes and clean the outward containers of my makeup. But this definitely is a tip that I would recommend you do when you are having a reset day after traveling. You can see here that I was on the phone with my mom while doing this part, but another tip that makes me feel back in routine is hanging up my clean or unworn clothes for my trip, especially after I have divided out my clothes from my suitcase from the clean and the dirty. I just feel like when you take things out of your luggage, it creates more clutter in your room. So the moment I know what's clean and what's dirty, I try to decrease that clutter and put the clothes back into my closet that are clean. And then another pro tip with my closet that also makes me very happy is color coding my clothes. It's never perfect, but it's always helpful, especially when I'm looking for a certain item. And I'm like, okay, I know this item is brown, so I'm gonna go in the brown section. So that's always helpful. Is this really a reset advice video if I don't encourage you to make your bed? I might even say this tip could be arguable for the number one slot, but this also could just be a given. But if you aren't a person who makes their bed often, I was once like you. I highly encourage it though. I felt a huge change in my mental well-being as I've implemented this habit alone. It's simple but powerful and I'll even share a really cool quote I read about making your bed. Welcome to day two of Reset. Happy to be doing this. It's been keeping me accountable and hopefully it's helpful to all of you to see how you can also get back into your routine after traveling and kind of not being in a routine. So yeah, I will continue to show you around. My bathroom definitely needs some TLC. Like I was gonna show before, but I kind of forgot to do that. And honestly, it's fine because it was pretty terrible, but I'll for sure show the after of this apartment. It's not fully mine. Like this is just given to us by two Con even my bedding like ideally I would have a gorgeous white bedding but again I'm just saving in any way that I can especially since 
I have an announcement soon of where I'm going to be living. So stay tuned for that because I will be vlogging. So I don't know if you want to see this. I'll show it though. But I did my skincare. I have matcha hemp hydrating cleanser. I typically don't wash my face or I try not to wash my face in the morning if I've done a really good skincare the night before. But I didn't. I did like the very basic. Like I didn't wear makeup or anything. But I definitely would like to do a full routine. So I'm going to go in with this. And I'll continue to show you everything that I use. Okay, I'm back. As you saw, I did my skincare and I just put on this cute little workout set. I'm actually gonna show you how cute it is. Although one of my directors that I worked with literally said it looks like Long John's and I was like, thanks. But it's just this pink workout set that I got from Amazon like maybe two years ago for like literally $20. She's so cute. Um, they don't even have it on Amazon anymore. So I'm wearing that and hopefully we can clean up this room in the next couple of hours and be done with this reset. Oh, one last thing before I kind of show you what I'm doing without speaking. I wanted to show you that one thing that helps me with resetting is making a to-do list. So if you see here, I have like a travel reset to-do list. So on this, it just helps me keep myself accountable. I think that's part of it too, is just sticking to some of the things I was going to do before I left, but then I wasn't able to. So like still staying true to that. Let's do this. Okay, mis amigos, one of the things I'm super passionate about is taking care of my body and trying to eat well. Emphasis on the try because... We're never perfect and it's always a process, but nourishing my body with the right nutrients has done wonders for me, especially as someone with autoimmune diseases. After a big travel moment full of eating out and enjoying all the yummy treats, I like to start my reset with a nutrient-dense smoothie. But honestly, if you just prioritize getting your servings of fruits and veggies, drinking tons of water, getting outside and moving your body, I promise you, you're gonna feel better and you're going to see your well-being increase as you prioritize this. Since I was a little girl, I've always valued journaling. I highly recommend writing down the memories, the life lessons, and allow yourself the time to declutter your brain to bring clarity, peace, and create a safe outlet for your thoughts. Even if it's just for five minutes, I promise you, it will do wonders. Now don't forget to disinfect your luggage, please. I remember once a YouTuber shared this on her video years ago and I've never forgotten it. Always, always, always clean your luggage after traveling. It comes across so many germs and let's not keep that in our homes. Also side note, I always clean with gloves to keep any harsh chemicals from touching my skin since I have very sensitive skin. And also, I didn't show this, but please clean your phone too. Just a good little tip for you. Hi, I guess this is becoming like a weekend in my life reset vlog because I decided to take you with me to the theater. So I'm on my way to go get ready to go do Hunchback. I like to get there like an hour before my wig time. But yeah, just wanted to show you my little walk. And let's see, I took some allergy medication. I realized that my throat gets really itchy when I'm outside, especially like by the stage. I don't know if it's like the dust or what it is, but whatever it is, I get like a really itchy throat. And it's only when I'm like outside and like singing and panting and all that, so. But I'm really excited, it's a Hunchback night and I think I've said that I'm playing Esmeralda really happy and grateful with that so grateful and yeah so I guess part of resetting for me is also still having to stick to responsibilities that I have so like ideally it'd be great to get everything that I wanted to done but I also had to pace myself and then also lay low and rest to be able to have enough energy for tonight so I guess this is part of my recommendation an added bonus of resetting is pace yourself be patient with your schedule because typically if you're coming back into your normal routine that includes working and all your other adult-like responsibilities so yeah that is another little tip just kind of take it as you can and yeah so I'm gonna show you the theater now bye hi I just got to the theater it's just me right now I'm one of the first people who get here for hunchback obviously because I have a lot that I need to get done beforehand this is my go-to get ready headband and it's me so I'm just gonna start getting ready now do primer, my makeup 
tons of lip and eyelashes and so this is the before making sure i have a good barrier the soundtrack going on i'm so excited i was in the zone and forgot to film my makeup before the show but this is after so This could be another given, but don't forget to clean all of those dirty clothes and to tackle that dirty laundry. I personally waited a couple days because I knew I was going to accumulate more dirty clothes by the end of the week with rehearsals and working out and doing shows, but do that laundry of yours. It, you will feel so much better. It always feels so good to have clean clothes. And then I finished off the reset routine by putting my shoes away. Time for the best part of the reset routine. We have worked hard and we are going to enjoy ourselves, have a spa night, prioritize self-love and self-care, light that candle, have that everything shower. You worked hard. It is time to relax and decompress. And this concludes our reset routine. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and have a great night. All love, Sophia.